early on in those uh, those days in Boston and maybe early on in New York, you had to do some less than ideal gigs to kind of make ends meet or maybe to get more stage time. What's what's one of the worst gigs from those days? I mean, worse than getting beat up, maybe I don't know. Um, I once got booked to do a wedding at the Waldorf Astoria, which is like the nicest hotel in New York City. Yeah. And, and it was this really ritzy wedding and I got booked and uh, I thought this is crazy that somebody would want to come but this is when comedy was so hot. This was like 1994 yeah. and there was this comedy boom going on and every comedy, 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 every Chinese restaurant had it. Every, you know, uh, convention had a comedian perform at their dinner and, and so these people decided they wanted a comedian at their wedding. And it was like a real, you know, fancy linen tablecloth and, you know, giant, every table had like a giant bouquet on it. And the waiters were all in tuxedos with the, you know, the, the napkin over their arm. And it was all, and, and, the, and the, the groom was probably 70, 75 years old. And the bride was like a 27-year-old Asian woman yeah. who didn't speak good English. So the daughter of the groom says to me, he loves it when you make fun of him for having a younger wife. So really focus on that during your stand-up. Just like make fun of them for being such an odd. I say, all right, that sounds easy enough. And so I go up and I'm doing jokes about how is this your is this your nurse? Is this your wife? And so, and, and it's dying. I'm getting no laughs. Nothing. The guy looks pissed. The only person laughing is the daughter who's standing in the back <laughs> and she's with her sister and the two of them are laughing. And I realized when I get off stage, they're so mad about this marriage because that's their money. That's uh -huh. their inheritance. That's going to this girl. She was pissed. And so they, they set me up. The whole thing was a setup. That's and, crazy. Yeah, but I got paid, I don't know what they paid me, a few hundred bucks, and I was on my way to the next club. I remember no, that I had, I was doing like a bunch of shows that night because you would go from club to club to club because, you know, you'd, you'd only make, you know, 20, 30 bucks a club. Yeah, so, so three, yeah, 300 is a pretty good four, gig. Five, six shows. And I remember, yeah, yeah. And it was like stand up New York, eight o'clock comic strip live 845 waldorf astoria 930 <laughs> comedy selling 1015 